We are not good at YouTube. Okay, so we've mixed up puppy formula, um, heavy cream, and then probiotics. I've got a little syringe and the baby. Oh. This one was sucking on its toes earlier, so. Maybe one two person from the other person. Come on, baby. Baby. Can't wipe its nose off. And its paw. I just don't want it to pull up its nose. Because that would hurt. I don't want to get too much in there at a time because it can aspirate. But you can see it's... Finally deciding it's... <laughs> um, another suggestion was to try a little sponge. We don't have a sponge right now, but we might. Are you awake? Now it's communicating. Trying to go really slow. Are you gonna move or what? And give it the chance to swallow and not gag on it. It's sucking on the syringe now, so. You want more, Bubba? Okay, and after a feeding, you have to clean it because that's what the mom would do. The bum. Rub on its bum. Because we need baby to um, pee and or poop because that's part of it. It's okay. And see how we have a good a round girl? belly here. Is it okay. a I don't know. Is it a girl or a boy? I don't know. It's too little. This baby's very relaxed now that it's gotten a little bit of food. This will be a learning curve for us for sure. So, um, bunnies, normally the mom helps stimulate their bowels. So that's what's going on over here. We have fat bellies. Everybody figured it out enough. Um, we'll probably get another suggestion was to use a makeup sponge instead of a syringe. So we might try that since they seem to be good about licking. One of these especially did better licking it off my finger than drinking it out of the syringe. So we'll try that for tonight's feeding and in the morning. Um, I guess stay tuned. Uh, normally there's not a super high chance of survival doing it this way, but we got to just do the best we can. Um, our friend could only take four, but see, you can see chunky bellies um, and they're already asleep. They're very happy. 
Um, so we're just going to do our best. We pulled the fur out of the nesting box to try to oh, keep them to warm. We we'll, might have to put a light on them to keep them warmer. Um, but the good news is, is they already have fur. Mama's already fed them for a week. And we're just doing the best we can. We've had so much loss, this batch of litter, um, that it's been really hard. So we're grateful to still have babies. We're grateful that we were able to foster some out. And we're grateful these chunks are hanging on. And we're going to just do the dang best we can. This baby is legit licking my face right now. Did I just get claimed as mama? Hello, baby. So second feeding went well. Everybody was kind of eager to eat. We have them tucked in for the night. You can see the black one right there. Spotty. Um, bellies all looked full. Everybody peed, which is good. We set this grow mat under them. It won't be too hot. Kind of wish it was a little bit warmer so they would stay warmer, but all the vents in this room are closed and um, so there's no drafts or anything. So the hope is they will be warm enough. We'll be feeding again early in the morning. And a couple days ago, we started incubating eggs. So, we've never incubated eggs before. The hope is that we will end up with some little chicks. We've also discovered that we have a broody hen sitting on a clutch of seven outside. So we'll see if that lasts or if she abandons them like we've had hens do in the past. It's just a, she's an ISA brown. So we'll see. It will be entertaining, I guess. So I'll see you at probably around four in the morning to feed our babies. This is Bunny Nikki here. And they're all warm. We put nest on them. And Tal will have to change all this tomorrow. And hopefully we'll have some happy news in a couple weeks. It's 4 a.m. Looks like everybody made it through the night. Um, that grow mat did a great job keeping their nest warm. So that's good. We're going to feed them and then hopefully get some sleep. Looks like they're eager to eat. They keep climbing all over each other. They're, it's definitely time for a feeding. So hopefully it will go well and they will eat well today. We'll see. This feeding is done. They We tried to give each of them um, two of the syringes full. So that's like six milliliters. Well, slightly more. Um, they kind of, it's hard. It's really, really hard. Um, I'm still hoping that we can maybe find a foster mom for these four um, or if the other foster mom's litter mate or whatever. If, if another mom at his house has had her babies, then we can probably foster these guys um, with those. I just, it's hard, not going to lie. And just worried about them and everything. So we'll be doing this again in eight hours. There's been a few days that I've thought, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be a homesteader. I don't want to do this. It's too hard. And yesterday was one of those days. And we don't talk about it a lot. Um, you know, everybody has hard times and everybody has hard things that happen. Um, but, you know, losing 
our two mamas was hard and you know we asked around in a couple of our groups and people were just like oh well just let them die and start over and that's unacceptable you know that's not an acceptable thing to just give up like that um we did find a foster for these babies um and we will be taking them um this afternoon so they will need a feeding um before then but it's hard to be farm tough <laughs> Oh, we finally gotten the routine down, but we also found a mom to foster them and give them a good chance. So this will be their last feeding here, hey. and then they'll be going to a mama. Look at this guy, he's got a full-on, like, milk beard. <laughs> Silly goose. So this is our little bunny that we're going to try and make a mama. And she weaned, but you can definitely tell that she misses her mama.